Hello, my name is Armod74 and this is going to be a new Nerf series for my channel where I focus on 3D printed parts and the community involved with that. With 3D printing becoming much more affordable these days and the rise of consumer grade 3D printers, uh, it's taken a large hold in the maker community and has also landed a large section in the Nerf community and has become fairly popular. 3D printing specifically in the Nerf community has become fairly popular in my opinion due to the ability of people that really like to tinker and modify blasters now having access to the ability to uh, fabricate custom pieces and uh, whether they be performance enhancing or just cosmetic you can design a piece and then have it printed out within a few hours depending on the size and then you can have a physical piece to test that would otherwise be very difficult to machine or uh, fabricate within a few hours and then you can adjust it and then from there you can go on to either mass produce them and sell them or upload the STL files online and make them publicly available for many other people to try and just sort of spread it throughout the community. Now both of these options have been fairly popular with companies like Gavin Fuzzy, Containment Crew, uh, Narrowbase, other companies of that nature that 3D print and ship their products for sale. And then there's also things like Thingiverse and other such websites where you can publicly upload files and then have other people download and make them and then you can comment and show the things that you've made. Now I was watching Out of Darts the other day and he had a video where he tested a triple mag holder that he found on Thingiverse and basically what he was saying in the video was that there's a lot available however a good portion of it is either untested doesn't work however there are also some very uh, popular prints that seem to work pretty well but the basic con of that is that uh, it does take quite a while in some cases depending on the size of the print so you could totally be printing a piece that takes, you know, six to eight hours and then find out later that it doesn't work, which would really suck. So that basically gave me the idea to maybe start a series about that and, you know, go through a lot of the publicly available files, print them out, test them, see what I liked and didn't like, or even if they worked or didn't work. Being new to 3D printing myself, I felt that this would be a good way for me to sort of uh, practice printing different files and, you know, working with supporting structures and sort of getting the hang of 3D printing in general. Uh, I already have some CAD experience, but the 3D printing aspect is totally new to me. So having a lot of different files to play around with and, you know, see how it's affecting different settings will affect the print would be really nice for me. And I thought I figured I could also help the community out in a way that would benefit a lot more people by testing many of these files and then, you know, giving my feedback and then giving the ultimate, you know, sort of opinion on what's good and bad about the uh, print before you actually go and do it yourself. Or maybe even have so another company like uh, Shapeways or something print it for you and then you spend money on that. So the basic idea would be to test a bunch of these files and then give you some feedback before you go into it so that you can make an educated decision. With that being said, this is going to be a relatively new experience for me, so if you have any suggestions on things that either I can improve on, whether it be video formatting, 3D printing, or if you just want to see something specific printed and tested, let me know. I will take all feedback into consideration, and I would really appreciate it if I can get feedback, as like I said, this is sort of the first attempt of me doing this, however I would like to continue doing it on maybe a weekly or bi-weekly basis just to uh, keep some video content flowing on the channel in between mods as well as you know helping out the community and also helping myself out uh, getting better at 3D printing. Without further introduction I will start out with this piece which is an angled foregrip that I have printed. Uh, fits on the Nerf Strife however I believe it would also fit on a few other blasters as well. well let's check out a quick time lapse of it being printed. Now let's take a close-up look at the part itself. Going from sort of front to back, this is just a very simple angled foregrip that, like I said, was for the Nerf Strife, however it would probably fit on other blasters as well. Uh, basically it involves a rail attachment section 
which you can see a little bit better here, which should fit any Nerf tactical rail. There's a small nub right where my fingernail is. It's a little hard to see on camera just because this is one solid color. And then there's a slight angle and then a piece up here which sort of catches your hand and makes it a bit more comfortable in my opinion. Here I have with me a Nerf Strife and as you can see here it slides on very easily and matches up with that groove very nicely. Uh, it holds on fairly well because there is that little nub, however it is relatively easy to slide on and off. So with a bit of force you can pull it off, however on its own it won't be going off anytime soon. So normally when I would grip my Strife I would grip it like right about here where the magazine well sort of ends. And that's pretty comfortable in my opinion. I also have a uh, painted radiator stock on here. But that's fairly comfortable in my opinion for someone of my height and size. With the new angled foregrip on there, it's pretty much mocks that, but it moves it forward very slightly and has your hand at a bit of a more open angle. So it fits pretty comfortably, I would say. Uh, you instinctively you know, want to pull back, which is good that the ramp is here and it sort of doesn't pinch your hand which is nice that was one thing i was particularly afraid of uh with this little section having a little groove in it however i haven't really had a problem with it pinching my hand which is nice and then i also feel that this piece up here adds to the comfort a bit because it sort of forces your hand to fit in a very comfortable position whereas i feel like you would slide around a bit more if you didn't have this piece up here to sort of give it a bit more tension Overall, fairly comfortable. Just for reference, it actually does not fit on the uh, recon or retaliator barrel attachments. The spacing is a little shorter on these than on the Strife, so there's not enough room for it to fully slide on, making it Strife exclusive. Overall, the print came out pretty well. Uh, I printed it in the upwards orientation, as you saw, and that was recommended by the uploader. Uh, I printed it fairly slowly, so it's extremely smooth, which I'm really happy about. This hasn't been sanded yet. So uh, it's a very smooth uh, print. I printed it fairly slowly, like I said, uh, just to make sure that it had a good quality. Uh, it had to have some supporting structure just to uh, hold up this arch, which uh, leaves a little bit behind, which will be sanded off. However, you can't really see it because it goes towards the blaster anyway. The only real problem I had with the print was this overhang up here. I'll post a picture maybe in the corner or something, but uh, I sanded this down just a bit because uh, when I originally printed it, there was some uh, plastic, uh, especially towards right here, which didn't quite work out as I would have liked, just due to the overhang being rather sharp and the printer not having any material under it to work up to. Uh, it worked really well up until about like right here where that overhang takes a big dip, and that's just because uh, it can go out on an angle, it's just that's a little too steep as of right here. So it worked fine up to here, like there's no material problems, but then about uh, a third of the way up I started having that problem where it was a little too steep and realistically I probably could have put uh, mid-tier supports on there, however, I'm, like I said, I'm still learning how to print. So either altering the angle of that or adding additional supports would be recommended by me, but that's just my opinion. So just to sort of wrap it up, the pros in my opinion would be the comfort. I have medium sized hands and I found it to be very comfortable. Uh, if you have larger hands it might be slightly more uncomfortable just like I said because it does put some slight tension on when you're gripping it. However, I found that to be pretty comfortable but if you have like rather large hands you might not find it to be comfortable. Uh, and then the clipping system is also very smooth in this particular print. I was afraid that it would be pretty tight and it might scratch up my paint job but it fit very well. Uh, it wasn't too hard to take on or off. Uh, it might have been a little, I would have preferred a little tighter in my opinion, but this is perfectly fine. It won't fly off on its own, which is what I was concerned about. The only real con in my opinion would have been this uh, support up here not printing particularly well, and that's just, like I said, probably half my mistake, and then probably half the design being a little too sharp. I almost forgot to mention, but I will be posting the Thingiverse and or uh, other website link to where I found each of these files if you choose to print them. But my overall opinion is fairly high for this particular piece. There's like one or two tiny things that I would tweak, like maybe making it a little bit tighter on the rail, and then the overhang like I mentioned. However, uh, overall, fairly solid foregrip. So yeah, that is my sort of review of this particular 3D printed 
uh, angled foregrip for the Nerf Strife. I hope you found it informative, and I would really appreciate any sort of constructive feedback in the comment section down below. I don't really have a name for this particular segment yet, which I could probably use some help with as well. I'm thinking maybe like a tested Tuesday or something, and then obviously put it out on Tuesdays, but I haven't really thought of anything uh, solid yet, so please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Well, like I said, I hope you found that informative. Please leave any constructive feedback down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and have a great day.